smoke waterfall trick. This is done by rolling a sticky note into a tube about the same diameter as a pencil. With the tube supported on an angle, it's ignited at the end. If the air is extremely still, all the smoke that forms inside of the tube pours out of the end like water. This happens because inside of the tube, there is a very limited supply of oxygen. Too little to sustain a flame, which would carry the smoke upwards. Without an updraft to lift it, the smoke is heavier than air and can fill whatever container it flows into, just like a liquid. Smoke is also very flammable as it's mostly made of hydrogen and carbon compounds that have not yet had enough heat and oxygen to fully burn. With this in mind, I decided to try an experiment to test the flammability of a smoke waterfall. A modified arc lighter will be my ignition source. This one doubles as the power supply for my plasma pen from an earlier video. The column of smoke from a smoke waterfall is much more stable if it's protected from air currents in a closed container. So I'll enclose this experiment in a tall glass vase with two stiff wires crimped over the side to act as electrodes. The leads from my arc lighter are connected to the electrodes so I get a nice hot spark at the touch of a button. To close the top, I use the lid from a jar with two cuts in the side to fit over the electrodes and a hole in the center to support a paper tube. I'm now ready to try this out by first inserting a waterfall tube into the top and once it's lit, aligning the stream of smoke with the spark gap. The arc alone creates enough of an updraft by heating the air around it to disturb the flow of smoke, so you can see how fragile the waterfall effect really is. At this distance, it was a bit too tricky, so I ended up raising the electrodes to be closer to the source of the smoke. With careful timing and alignment, I was finally able to get ignition. This is similar to a well-known candle trick, where a tail of smoke is ignited from a distance after the candle has been blown out. There were a few times as I was testing where not only did the tail of smoke ignite, but the surrounding smoke as well. This gave me another idea. I scrapped the ignition system and instead placed the tube so it was supported halfway down into a shot glass. Now as the glass fills with smoke, the end of the tube is slowly burning towards it. When the two meet, we get ignition. This I think is a pretty cool trick. I almost separated it into its own video. One last thing that I worked on for quite a while was trying to figure out a way to make a smoke waterfall form by burning corrugated cardboard. I had interesting results, but never could get the smoke to fall straight down. There was too much fire involved and that created air currents. Hey everyone, you might have noticed that this video was uploaded at 60 frames per second. And this is the first video I've posted to my channel at that frame rate because previously I have been filming with this camera. This is a GH2 that I've been filming with since 2012. Well, thanks to my Patreon supporters, I have finally upgraded this camera. I'm now shooting on a GH4, which is what you're seeing me on now. Now, since my Patreon supporters helped to pay for this new camera, I thought it would be appropriate if I gave away my GH2 to my patrons. So I've already selected a name. I did not want to incentivize all of you to go and support my Patreon page simply because you wanted my camera. So I'm only choosing out of my current patrons. So I have chosen Joey H. So congratulations, I've already sent you an email. Please get back to me and I will get this GH2 shipped out to you right away. By the way, this is Moe's. He's my new assistant editor and he's terrible at his job, but he's kind of fun to have around. So I think I'll keep him anyway. You might see more in future videos if they're not too dangerous for him to be hanging around. So in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, check out my Patreon page if you'd like to support my channel. Though remember, the my GH2 has already been given away to a current patron, so don't go support me for that. Support me if you want to see my videos improve in the future. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.